Malaria cases have been on a rapid rise in malaria endemic regions. Of the total 1,345 cases recorded nationwide, 133 were found to be severe and resulted in hospital admission. 12 deaths were recorded while 15 malaria endemic districts in seven regions have surpassed the endemic threshold. The regions in question are Ahangwena, Zambezi, Oshikoto, Oshana, Omasati, Kunene and Kavanko East and Kavanko West. The majority of cases were reported from the Enana district. Uh, 592 cases which accounted for 21%, followed by Katima Mulilo with 457 cases, accounted for 16%. Um, other areas like Korihas, Isiro, they don't have malaria cases. Then you have Okakarara, for example, is 4%. Oshiwarongo is 0%. So Okahao is 13% and so on and so on. So uh, that is some of the statistics. Mm -hmm. Now Namibia has seasonal malaria transmission with seasonal peaks starting in December and uh, lasting until April, especially late April. So which means that we malaria cases are expected to increase during this time due to the rainy season. In 2023, the ministry recorded a total of 13,000 malaria cases. And in its fight to end malaria in the country, the ministry has implemented a robust civilian system to detect and monitor cases in all regions. Yet it acknowledges challenges experienced in battling residual malaria transmissions. So the ministry, with support from development and implementing partners, is implementing a revised national strategic plan to battle residual malaria transmission. But uh, despite this, uh, we still have some major challenges that we experience, and these include um, anti-malarial resistance, insecticide resistance, Community refusal to accept some national interventions. You, you find in some areas where people refuse for people to go into their homes to, to spray their homes. So that's, that's a challenge. And also the increased uh, prices of new generation insecticides and anti-malaria medicines. Dr. Munyangwe cautioned residents of non-endemic regions to equally take the necessary precautions as cases may be imported from other parts of the country. Recent travelers to malaria-prone areas are urged to go for immediate testing as they may not initially present any symptoms. Severe symptoms of malaria include extreme tightness and fatigue, impaired consciousness, multiple convulsions, breathing difficulty, abnormal bleeding, janters and dark or bloody urine. Community members experiencing the symptoms listed or that I have mentioned are urged to immediately visit their nearest health facilities for care as the ministry has secured enough anti-malaria medicine and all facilities are well stocked for patients diagnosed with malaria. For NBC News, Vanessa Njitavua, Ventuk.